Liz Ness here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do color grading in Procreate. I have here a picture from Mono Lake in Mono County where I grew up. I grew up actually in the county seat in Bridgeport, California. Um, anyway, anytime I go back there, I make a visit to Mono Lake and I just love working on uh, pictures from Mono Lake. This original photo was taken uh, in an iPhone and the color is okay but I wanna play with it and make it a little bit richer so that it's a little bit truer to uh, how the place actually looks and how it makes me feel when I'm there. So it's sort of an artistic uh, color grading that we're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. I need to learn how to speak. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with layers. And I always like to have a duplicate in case I mess up and need to go back to the original because sometimes I get kind of crazy when I'm uh, playing with uh, colors here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the, the gamma on this. I, I, I want to see if I want to uh, bring up the, the contrast. And I don't think so, but maybe I will. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, so we're going to go over to our magic wand for the adjustment uh, functionality here. And we're going to go ahead and choose uh, curves and layer. And this gives us a curve. I'm, not, I'm going to move this over just a little bit so I can look at it while I'm uh, messing with the curves here. Uh, so gamma, if it's not chosen, is this one. And it, it, it deals with all colors. It's basically the lightness and darkness of your photo. So let's just go ahead and put a couple um, spaces in here. And if, <laughs> as you can see, it can really amp up the contrast if you want it to. Um, I don't really want to, but let's play with the softness a little bit here. So what we have down here is shadows and up here we have highlights and in between are the midtones and so i'm playing with the it's basically white gray and black here so in the midtones it's kind of gray and if i dial up the gray here it's really dialing up the highlights it's making it more gray if i bring it down it's darkening it so it's really adding black to it in the lower midtones and same here, if I bring this down, you can see what happens. <laughs> Gets a little crazy, makes it a lot grayer, muddier. Um, so let's see, I, I don't really want to play with these, so I'm going to tap that to delete it and tap that to delete it. Um, for now, I'm satisfied with the, with the overall contrast that's going on. After I play with the colors, I, I'll come back and see if there's something I want to change there. Um, I think the first thing I want to do is this looks a little bit... Um, uh, it, kind of washed out I want it to be a little bit bluer in the the shadows so I'm going to start with blue and blue is really a slider for blue and yellow as you can see here we'll play with the highlights if you drag them down that becomes yellow and for the shadows if you drag it up it becomes blue so that means when we're playing in here we're going to be playing with blue by dragging up and yellow by dragging down okay so I'm going to go, come over here and I'm going to add a little point in just this part I want. I want to bring this back over here though because I actually want yellow to be um, hitting the Tufa Towers. These are Tufa Towers by the way. Sorry, Mono Lake <laughs> Tufa Towers and uh, these are uh, like calcium and a bunch of other things I think, minerals, that bubble up um, naturally underneath the lake and uh, solidify and form these over many many years. Anyway, uh, let's see, I want there to be the yellow on that, but I also want blue down here, but I don't want to change the overall tone too much. So right now it's very blue, and that kind of takes away from the overall nice tone that I had originally. So let's see, I'm going to dial this back down to the shadows, really hit the shadows more, and then look at this just a little bit. While that adds a lot of nice blue, it kind of takes away the warmth that is you know, Mono Lake. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. Okay, I kind of like this curve, at least at the moment. The other thing that I know that was there um, that day um, was it was more peach in color. So there needs to be a little bit more red. And also, I know this little hill back here needs to be a little bit redder as well. Like, like I said, I grew up there. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and play with red here really quickly. So again, we're playing with red, but on the other side of this one is cyan. So we bring it down. It sort of looks blue-green, which is really kind of what cyan is. It's kind of a yellowy blue. So, okay, so I don't want to bring in too much cyan, but I am thinking maybe down here in the water, sort of 
those shadows again, but not too much, just a little bit, very subtle. So I'm just comparing, I love this reference, <laughs> so that I can look at my original and, and the, the work I'm doing. Um, I like to go somewhat subtle. Um, I'll probably, at the end, get a little bit more drastic, just for artistic, um, I don't know, preference. Um, but I, while I'm messing with this, I like to try to keep it sort of, some of the qualities of the original, I, I wanna go subtle here. But yes, I've added some sort of bluer uh, tonality down here. So now let's look at up in the highlights, like the skies and whatnot. I want to, uh, I, yeah, that's getting towards that peach. Okay, I kind of like that. So now let's look at green and magenta. That's the next slider we have here. So, you know, again, <laughs> really fast and <laughs> can get into magenta. And then the other side, green. So I don't want to put too much green in here because there's kind of an absence of green other than somewhat in the water, but not too much. So um, let's just see what happens here when we start playing with this. Okay, that is kind of nice. Uh, I like this a little bit better because it's kind of making that a little bit redder over there, which is what it kind of is. Uh, what's going on over here? I don't know, I feel like that's too purple. Let's bring this down even closer to our darker darks and play with that there. Eh, I'm not crazy about that, so I'm going to delete that dot, that spot. And then I'm just going to look up here. Okay, that warms it up a little bit. It's kind of a weird thing. I don't really care for it, so I'm going to take that dot out of there too. Okay, so I kind of, I guess I kind of like this the way it is. Um, I'm going to go back down to blue and play with the blue and yellow just a little bit more. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. And one more time with the red, just because I want to see what I can do with that red. Okay. All right. All right, now I'm going to go back to gamma because now I feel like it needs a little bit more um, oomph. So we're just add a couple dots here and then start playing with it. The more of an S shape you make of this curve, the higher the contrast. Okay. So I do like how this is starting to really come out now, these, these reflections. And this is more in keeping with the color of the tufa and also how that morning was. We, we were there just after sunrise. And so we have some, some golden light and some, some red, there was a little bit of haze in the sky, so it's not completely gold, it's a little orangey. So, um, so that's really adding to the color here. And I think that this, this color grade is helping a lot to bring back those colors. Okay, I'm going to live with this color change and I'm gonna add a vignette to it just to kind of bring more blue back in and see what happens here. So this looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap out and then I am going to add a new, actually I'm going to bring this down because I want to be able to see it. I'm going to bring in a new layer and then I've got a blue here. Let's see, that looks like a pretty good blue, maybe a little lighter like that. And then I'm going to go over and select a pen. Yep, script, that's pretty good. It's nice and big, so yep. And then I'm just going to draw for kind of where I want my vignette. I'm not worrying about it being too perfect there. And then I'm gonna just drag that color and drop it in the edge there. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty bright blue. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to the adjustments panel again and I'm gonna select Gaussian blur and layer. No, yes, layer, that's what I wanted. <laughs> and now I drag along. Okay, yes, I want it to go all the way and that's a great uh, vignette. So now let's go ahead and play with the blending mode. So I'm thinking darker color, you know, maybe color burn, ooh, color burn, darken. Okay, all that seems a little severe. Okay, let's go back to darker color and then let's dial it down. I'm kind of thinking this might be the way to go, um, but I think the color's just a little off. So I'm gonna stick with darker color for the moment, but I'm gonna go back over to my adjustment layer. And this time I'm gonna select hue, saturation, and brightness. Okay, and I wanna pull this up because there's some weirdness going on down here that I need to be aware of when I'm playing with this. So if I dial this up just a little bit and I take the saturation down just a little bit and I play with the color just a bit, 
I can start looking at what's going on in the shadow areas. And this seems way too severe. So I'm going to change the blending mode. I'm thinking color burn. Linear burn? Yeah, probably color burn. Or multiply. Let's go with multiply for the time being and then go back to our hue, saturation, and layer here. Okay. I definitely don't want it to be green, but I am thinking blue and um, just finding the right blue here. That's a little, I don't know, that feels a little too like saturated or something. I want it to be, yeah, maybe a little brighter too. That seems pretty good. Let's see. Okay. That's a little purple. That's a little cyan. Actually, that's kind of not bad. I kind of like that. Okay, so that kind of suggests and pulls us in. Um, kind of wondering, let's see, brightness. I kind of like that. I, I actually think that's really close to how it looked. Maybe I'll dial this down just a little bit more. Okay. Um, I feel like I want just a little more punch. So I'm going to go play with the blending modes one more time. <laughs> we got our color uh, pretty well established now. Let's go ahead and take a look here. At, like, ooh. Okay, now I'm going to pull pull this down so I can see it while I'm playing with it. Okay. Oops, I drew in it though. I need to undo that. There we go. Gotta be careful. <laughs> okay, so that's interesting. I kind of like the look of that one. Ooh, yeah. I really like that. Um, okay, I still I want to look at all the options here. Yep, okay, going back up to, uh, let's see, I believe it was a darker color, or yeah, uh, linear burn. Linear burn seems really nice, like I could imagine, so, so, so there's also postcards <laughs> from the area, and the postcards often have a little bit of that purple in there. Um, whether or not it's actually real doesn't kind of matter to me. It has that feeling. And, um, and like I said, I really wanted to get the red back of that mountain and I wanted to get the more peach colors. And I like the darker water here. I think that's, it highlights it so much better. And actually these orange, I, I kind of remember this. It was like really that color. It was like kind of that brick red color. Um, it was so pretty that morning. So, um, this looks pretty good. I, I'm kind of wondering about what's going on in the, um, highlights right here so let me just check that when I if I get rid of it oh it's in the picture itself okay well this was taken with an iPhone so um, I'm, I'm seeing some gradation here and I'm not crazy about that it looks like it is there in the original too which is too bad this is why it also pays to take a good camera with you when you go wherever you go I just didn't use mine that day <laughs> so note to self use the, the good camera so anyway, this is not bad for a snapshot. So I'm actually satisfied with this and, and I will definitely get it into my albums. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing how I do some color grading in Procreate. Um, like I said, the, my favorite set of tools happens to be the adjustments, um, to, the adjustment tools, uh, specifically starting with curves and then working with uh, hue, saturation and brightness after I've created an extra layer with some color, sort of a vignette color. And um, and, and then, you know, you can take it from this to this. And if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be notified when new videos become available, please go ahead and ring that bell too. Meanwhile, I hope that your day is amazing. Take care.